Hey, Fanny Gal. I'm so excited and so happy to see you guys. It's JD here. All right, so we are still in September, but it's the last Sunday in September. And so we're still talking about the same thing. And remind me, guys, can you remind me who has a plan for you? Right, God has a plan for you. God has a plan for me and you. Okay, so for today, we are going to practice our memory verse and the motions, all right? And so, let's remember, let's think. Our memory verse is, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, Jeremiah 29, 11. All right, so let's remember the, mo the motions, ready? For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, Jeremiah 29, 11. Awesome. Let's try it one more time, okay? For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, Jeremiah 29, 11. Okay, I have a challenge for you. We're going to do that, but let's see if you can do it with your eyes closed, okay? Close your eyes. Ready? Here we go. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, Jeremiah 29, 11. Did you do it? Oh my goodness, I, you did great. I know you did. All right, guys, so let's, we have to remember that. The Lord has a plan for us. And if we follow the plan, everything will work out because God is always with us. God loves us so much. And he loves us so much that he gives us a he gives us his plan for us. And all we have to do is follow his plan. All right. So I will see you guys next week. I love you guys. All right. Bye. He's got a, he's got a, he's got a plan. He's got a, he's got a, yes he do. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. Let's go. I know that I can trust him. Yeah. I know that I can trust him. Yeah. No matter what the season. Yeah. His plans are for a reason. Yeah. I know they are good. I know they are bad. Awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. And when I'm feeling so sad, hey, when I am afraid, God will never leave me. No, 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 his love will never change. I know they are best. The reason I know is because I said he's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really Awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. Who? Who? You know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. Strawberries for Kai, and uh, gummy worms for Lucy. Oh, hello there. Welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Manny, and I'm so happy to see you today. 
so I'm making sure we have all the things we need for everyone to follow their ice cream sundae plans. Let's see. Kai wants vanilla ice cream. Check. Lucy wants chocolate ice cream. Check. Now let's check our toppings. Kai wants whipped cream. Check. And strawberries. Check. Lucy wants gummy worms. Check. I want chocolate syrup. Oh, and sprinkles. Lots of sprinkles. Wow, I think we have everything we need for everyone to follow their ice cream sundae plans. And each plan is different. Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Manny. Who? Who? Following some party plans, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. Everybody has a different plan for their ice cream sundaes. You have many different plans. It's true. I have a story about the best plan for you. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Ready? And go! <laughs> oh, hi friends! I'm Carrie the Dog Walker, and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane, and her friends, Goldie and Barkley. We're celebrating Ice Cream Sunday Month with a doggy Sunday party. <laughs> I think they like them. <laughs> We're also celebrating because we have been learning about God's plan for Joseph, and today, we get to hear the last part of his story. And it is awesome! Do you know who this is? Yep, it's Joseph. He always trusted in God's plan. And these are Joseph's 11 brothers who got super mad and jealous when their dad gave Joseph a special coat and didn't give them one. So they stole the coat, threw Joseph in a hole, and sent him with people who took him far away from home where he was thrown in jail. Then Joseph was taken out of jail, helped the Pharaoh learn about his dreams, and got put in charge of giving hungry people food. Wow! Three cheers for God's plan. God's plan is awesome. Hip, hip, hooray. Can you say that with me? Ready? Hip, hip, hooray. One more time. Hip, hip, hooray. No matter how hard it was, Joseph knew that God loved him, that God was always with him, and that he could trust God's plan. But that's not the end of the story. There is more to God's plan. Remember Joseph's brothers? Well, now back at home, Wait a minute. Stormy Jane, you're not a brother in the story. Get out of there, silly dog. That's better. Okay, so back at home, the brothers were super hungry and had no food. And guess where they had to go to get food? You got it. They had to go see Joseph because he was in charge of all the food. But they didn't know Joseph was in charge. Well, one day, Joseph was at the palace when his brothers came looking for food. Joseph was so surprised to see them. Show me your surprise face. <gasps> That's good. Joseph had a choice to make. Choice one, he could forgive his brothers and give them food to eat. Or choice two, he could just send them away hungry. What do you think God wanted Joseph to do? Choice one, you're right. That's exactly what Joseph did. Joseph forgave his brothers and gave them food to eat. He even gave them a hug and was happy to see them. It was the best ending to the story because Joseph followed God's plan. I love how Joseph followed God's plan. I want to follow God's plan, and you can too. God's plan is the best plan. Oh, hey, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me. Who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story. It's all true. God has the best plan of all for me and for you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, what a great story. Joseph's life really shows us how God's plan is always the best plan. God loves us so much and always has the best plans for us. 
I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did say got it, get it? Got it! Good! God's plan is always the best plan. But we have some great plans for our ice cream sundae party too. I can't wait for the party to start. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29 11. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29 11.